Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is um, Avery's Uncle Jacob's Stout. This is their bourbon barrel aged um, imperial stout. Uh, I believe they leave it in the barrel for six months and it is a high ABV one. It is uh, 16.53, so pretty high ABV uh, uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. This is actually from um, June of 2013, so some age on this. Um, I don't think I've actually, yeah, I've had a little bit of this beer. I've, I'm actually not quite familiar with the beer. Uh, very curious how it stands up to, um, in general, uh, with uh, bourbon barrel aged beers, I find that a lot of them are maybe 10 to 12% ABV. And then you get uh, beers like Parabola and Bourbon County around 14. And then you have really a really big beer like uh, Black Tuesday, which is 20%. So that's 17 that sits in between Bourbon County and Black Tuesday. Um, personally, obviously, you, you, you guys know I personally prefer Bourbon County at that magical 13 to 15%, but very curious to see how it, how 16.5 does. So let's dig in. Uh, beer pours out a nice dark black color. How did it pour out? Yeah, um, it, like it's sort of dark brown uh, coming through the light when it's poured out, but um, pretty dark, pretty black though. Yeah, pretty dark stuff. Uh, you get that good amount of um, dark head on there. Looks slightly like Bourbon County. Um, a little bit of that kind of um, uh, clinging on the film that makes the uh, glass brown. Let's get the aroma. Wow, that's really nice. That's big and complex. Big amount of dark fruit, pop of bourbon up front. Wow, I'm getting a really very much kind of this 2014 Bourbon County kind of aroma. Big pop of um, dark fruit. Almost had, it smells a little bit of like that barley, Bourbon County barley wine stout blend that I did. Big pop of dark fruit on this one. Big juicy bourbon soaked cherries. Also that kind of um, 2014 note of um, what is it, like really dark chocolate, like almost like, you know, 100% uh, cacao chocolate, baker's chocolate, <sighs> big vanilla notes. <sighs> wow, that really does smell like 2014 Bourbon County. Big amount of dark fruit, cheers. Mm. Wow. Huh, I wasn't expecting too, too much of this, but this is, Freaking incredible cheese, guys. Holy smoke. Up front, again, that sweetness, dark fruit, burnt caramel, almost a toasted marshmallow kind of thing, like burnt sugar, like extremely car uh, caramelized. Oh, then it rolls on with tons and tons of vanilla, like a, like a Bourbon County amount, which is very vanilla for, for, uh, to me at least, like regular Bourbon County. <sighs> Rich roasted malt. Again, almost that, that burnt flavor comes up very much in the mid palate or on the back end. It's all, yeah, almost like burning sugar. Coffee, espresso bitterness on the back end, like sharp bitterness. Um, but it's balanced because the beer is so sweet up front. Wonderful amount of touches of coconut and vanilla that sort of envelop the palate. Bourbon y, um, a little bourbon kind of. Um, spiciness to sort of uh, spiciness and heat sort of move the beer along because it, because it is so um, sludgy and thick and really wonderful mouthfeel on this one. Yeah, it almost it tastes like it almost has a little bit of coffee in it, almost like a coffee beer. Yeah, so that wonderful combination of really uh, dark chocolate, uh, rich caramel sweetness up front, uh, vanilla, coconut, bourbon qualities. Uh, the heat comes through a little bit. Then onto that burnt kind of flavor, balances it out, bitterness, coffee. It's a whole package, this is incredible. Um, uh, I, get, I get some heat as it goes down, but this drinks more around Bourbon County. I would guess this was something like 14%. Yeah, maybe a little bit higher, maybe 15. But I, I would guess this is anywhere from you know 12 to 15 and it does not taste like 16.5. Um, great stuff, wow. Um, this beer, by the way, gets a 98 on Beer Advocate. If you guys don't know, um, uh, I sort of explained in my ratings uh, video that 98 is, again, on the top 250, you know, I think it might be somewhere in the top 200, but not really high tier. This to me, those two points are very important, 100 out of 100. Um, this to me is one of the few beer that, uh, beers that reaches up to that Bourbon County quality. I guess the 16.5%, they're able to do a lot more with the beer. It has a wonderful mouthfeel, wonderful complexities. Even only six months in the, bar uh, in the barrel, a lot of that Bourbon County 
quality uh, vanilla coconut, a really wonderful base beer, um, hides this alcohol pretty well. Yeah, yeah, this is incredible. Um, wow, that roastiness is spot on, bounces the beer out perfectly. This is 100 out of 100, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, pretty underrated. I mean, there, there's some other beers that people, you know, Tau, Black Note, Parabola, um, a Bourbon Barrel, a Bourbon Barrel Age Plead, Black Tuesday. Um, I'll still have to rate those, but this beer specifically, I would say is up there. 100 out of 100, great stuff. Um, being a huge Bourbon County fanboy, uh, th this is up there. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.